After I put all the brakes and everything back on, I gave the wheels a good clean, put everything back on the car. The car had been sitting a few days up in the air while I was um, getting parts for the brakes. I think the battery is a bit flat, so I was not able to start it last night. I've put a uh, battery charger on it overnight, so now we're gonna give it a go again and see how it goes. So after being on charge all night, battery's up to 12.7. Hopefully it's up to full capacity though, and we can get this thing started. Gonna try and video this process as much as possible because these Citroen C2 sensor drives do some very weird things. I just heard the fuel pump prime. Saw the battery light flash twice. Got my foot on the brake, turning on. Okay, I can hear the gear selector doing its thing. I go to crank and I get nothing. And see the battery LED is flashing. So I think I need to go through the process that reinitializes the gearbox. Maybe it's not happy with the voltage. It seems to be a problem with these during that initialization process. But at this point, I can't even put the windows up because um, I've got the driver's window open at the moment. Nothing else kind of seems to work. Okay, so this time what I've done is I've put a booster battery on and I've put the charger back on. Now at least this part of the dash is staying alive before that was shutting down. And also my battery light is no longer flashing. I've also heard the transmission go through its selector mechanism. So it's this one is looking much better now. Still got the auto light flashing and you can see the dash as well for the gear selector. So I'm just gonna select my reverse now. And there's no change there. Go back and go to first. There's no change there. Foot off the brake. Foot back on the brake. I'm gonna try and crank. Let's see if I can put the window up. Yep can get the window up now. Cool. So that's different this time. Ah, there we go. Start in neutral, foot on brake. So I've put it in neutral, got my foot on the brake now. Still doesn't want to let me crank though. I take my foot off the brake and I get that come up. Still no gear indicator. I'm going to turn the ignition off. Take the key out. I'll open the door. Okay, I've been able to get the window up at least now which is great so one of these processes on the internet says turn on the rear wiper while it's in this state and then go and reset the battery um, I might just try it one more time though because we did see some good changes there so I'm gonna put the key in there we go, I can see I've got one there now. Uh, that's moved from one to the dash. So, yep. And now that display is shut down and that display is shut down as well. And the battery light is also flashing. So it's definitely a battery issue, I would say. Hmm. All right, I'm 
going to go through the transmission reinitialization process. So it says turn everything off, make sure the windows are up. It says to turn on the rear wiper, which is this one here. So I've just turned that on. And now we're going to go and reset the battery terminal. As soon as I open the door, I can hear the fuel pump. I heard some relays click. We're going to wait a minute now for it to go into standby mode. And then I'm going to remove the terminal off the battery and reset that. So I've just heard a relay click then. You can see here I've got some jumper leads connected up to a second battery as well, just to try and help us get this issue sorted. And you can see I've also got my battery charger connected up as well. I might put this in boost mode. I think that just bumps up the voltage, but limits the current. So I'm just waiting a full minute before I reset the battery. Okay, I think that's been about a minute. So let's go ahead and reset this battery. I can see why they've made a quick release on these battery terminals. The amount of times you've got to do this is ridiculous. Okay, so they just say a few seconds. Put that back on. I'm going to put my charger back on. And I'm going to put my boost battery back on as well. Now we wait another minute. And then we go and try that process inside the car again. All right, we should be good to go now. As soon as I open the door, I could hear the fuel pump. Battery flashes a couple of times. My foot on the brake. I'm gonna put the ignition on. I can hear the selector change, but the display shut down and this display shut down as well and the battery's flashing so that didn't seem to work okay I've just repeated that process again except this time I've taken the key with me okay so I've just reset the battery terminal again I'm gonna go and try this again Key in the ignition, foot on the brake. It's gonna hold it there. Auto still flashing. The screen's still active, so that's good. The battery light is on solid. The rear wiper hasn't moved at all, even though the control is on I'm just going to move the selector into reverse we see nothing there at all take my foot off the brake don't really see any change there at all foot back on the brake the handbrake was off okay so that could be another variable now the handbrake is on. Changing the gear selector, foot on the brake. It's definitely not saying neutral, so it's not gonna wanna start. Let me turn the ignition off and try that again. Now that we've got the handbrake on, Key in, ignition on, you can hear the fuel pump priming. I heard the selectors. Still no 
nothing. All right, let's try that process again. Now that I've got the handbrake on, see where we get to. Taking the key with me. We just need to wait a minute after opening the door. Okay, it's been 60 seconds since the power's been back on. So try this again. I heard some clacking when I opened the door. There's nothing on the display. Key in, foot on the brake, ignition on. You can hear the selectors. You can see auto flashing, no change. Foot off the brake. Moving the gear selector. Tells me to put foot on the brake, but still no gear indicator. So there's no way that's gonna start in that mode. I think the next step is to try using my Jetta with it running to see if jump starting it helps with the battery voltage. I suspect it's not finishing its initialization process properly. I'm going to try boost starting it with my Jetta. Okay, I've got my jumper leads on now. You can see we've got 14.2 volts now because the alternator is boosting that from the Jetta. So let's give that a go and see what happens. can hear the selectors working away. Still going. I've still got my foot on the brake. You can see there's no action on the dash though. Selection has now finished. Okay, let's turn the ignition off. Remove the key. And try again. Ah, now you can see it's in neutral. Change it to reverse, it goes in reverse. I can hear the selectors. Now we've got a neutral indicator. That's great. The display still went off and this display still also went off as well but it looks like at least the selector is now initialized let's try again it says it's in neutral put my foot on the brake and we've started the car Hooray. So definitely you need quite high voltage. See, we had 14, over 14 volts. And then the initialization process has finished. So we're looking like we're good now. Put it in reverse, back to neutral, into first. Press to auto um, manual mode. Second. Yeah, because we're not moving, it's not gonna change out a second, but I can change it between second and first. Back to neutral or auto, and then back to neutral, into reverse, and back to neutral. So finally, we're good to go. So my battery's a little bit suspicious, I think. 
Well, we finally got the car running after trying a few different processes. So let's just review what we've learned. Number one, highest priority is have a very good battery and make sure it's fully charged. Number two, it takes longer than a few seconds for the transmission to go through the full calibration process. Number three, the flashing battery indicator indicates that the battery is low voltage. And in this state, the calibration process will not complete. Number four, the car will not start until the indicator shows neutral. Number five, these cars do not drive like a normal automatic or a manual car. They are different and you need to drive them that way. Well, that's it for this video. I'm sorry it is a long one, but I really wanted to show the difficulty in achieving the end result when you don't really know what to expect. So keep a lookout for that flashing battery. That indicates that the battery is not in a good state and it will put the car system into a, a fail safe mode where the lights are still on, some things still work, but other things are shut down. During that time, it will not complete that calibration process. So I guess I'd like to just uh, remind you, go back to basics. So you need a really good battery, absolutely really important. And if I was going through this again, I, I wouldn't even try and do it without connecting it to another vehicle because you have to have really high voltage. It looks like you probably even need over 14 or over 14.5 volts. So just connect it straight up to that other vehicle so that it can get a really good voltage. Make sure your handbrake's on, make sure your foot brake's on, and just let it go through that process. It takes more than a few seconds. You can hear the selectors clicking and clanging. Just wait until all of that stops. And uh, I hope that this has been helpful in sort of learning what to expect and the process to go about getting your car to start. So good luck and thanks for watching.